Welcome to the Nova Armada channel, to the newcomers, and to the usual suspects. Today's aircraft is the Braniff International Airlines Boeing 727-172C, wearing the two-tone blue flying colors livery variant. This aircraft was powered by three Pratt & Whitney JT-8D low bypass turbofans, with each engine able to generate up to 14,500 pounds force, or 64 kilonewtons. The exit limit for this aircraft is 131 people, but in a normal two-class layout, this aircraft can normally carry 106 people. This aircraft has a maximum cruise speed of 518 knots or 960 kilometers an hour, with a range of around 2,300 nautical miles or 4,000 kilometers, with a standard load on board. This aircraft was first acquired by Charter Airline Airlift International on August 9, 1968. The initial delivery was a simple white fuselage with red and blue cheat lines along the windows, and for some reason, the name of the company, Airlift, was on the aircraft three times per side. This airliner's first registration was November 732 Alpha Lima. After four years of service with Airlift International, the aircraft was purchased by Braniff International Airlines in 1972. The livery was changed to the two-tone blue flying colors variant of the current Braniff paint scheme. Not only did the paint scheme change, but so did the registration, which was now November 309 Bravo November. This aircraft would fly for Braniff for 10 years. After a conversion to a purely cargo-carrying jet aircraft, the aircraft was purchased by United Parcel Service, also known as UPS, in 1982. Even though the owner and livery belonged to UPS, the actual operators of this aircraft were Evergreen International Airlines. This would be the longest stretch of continuous service for this aircraft. However, all good things must come to an end, and this aircraft was retired to the Roswell Airport Boneyard in 2003, and finally scrapped in 2006. What you are seeing now is a video showing the 1400 scale Jet X version of this aircraft, released in 2001. Per my best source, this production run of this aircraft is the only one so far as of the middle of 2023. This channel survives with you, the viewer, and your ongoing support. The more you like my videos, it helps me get more views, and more views brings in more subscribers. This in turn generates a wider distribution around YouTube, which repeats the process. If you like what you've seen, hit those like buttons and spread the word. We've enjoyed making this video, and we hope you've had fun watching it. Thank you, and good day.